Welcome back, listeners. Uh, this co this continues our review of Chapter 6, also dealing with the vertical motion problem. This time, instead of a time that the rock falls, we are, good we are going to be given the height of a building. So the problem states, if a girl stands on a building 20 meters tall and drops a rock, how fast will the rock be traveling just before it hits the ground? Now, if you remember back to our class and our reviews in class, we talked about an equation that actually relates potential energy to kinetic energy. Okay, potential energy, whenever we're dealing with uh, something at a height, is equal to mass times gravity times height. And kinetic energy is always equal to one-half mass times velocity squared. This is the formula that we're going to be using to solve this problem. One thing I want you to note, the first thing I want you to note, is that mass cancels here. It's the same mass on both sides, so it cancels. We're left with gravity times height is equal to one-half velocity squared. This velocity squared will give us our final velocity just before it hits the ground. So, let's take gravity times height, first of all. Our height is given by 20 meters, by the way. Gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, so we'll take our gravity, which is 9.8 times 20, is equal to 1 half velocity squared. Now all we have to do is solve for velocity, which is fairly simple, basic algebra in this case. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the 1 half here. We're left with 9.8 times 40 is equal to v squared. Now we take the square root of both sides. In all technicality, this should be a plus or a minus, but since we just want the magnitude, we're just going to leave it like this. So, on our calculators, if we take the square root of 9.8 times 40, that gives us our final velocity of 19.799 meters per second. And that concludes this problem.